Good morning. Welcome back to the Library Garden, or juvenile fiction, that is. Today we're excited to kick off January with a garden kit, which you can pick up for free in the drive through starting on Monday, January 11th, while supplies last. Today I'm going to show you bulb forcing, what's in the kit and how to do it. So this, of course, is a bulb, and most of you are probably used to getting these in the fall, planting them, and then enjoying the flowers in the spring. But what if I told you that with bulb forcing, you could enjoy the flowers in the middle of winter? Well, that's exactly what you're going to get to do with this free kit, courtesy of the friends of the Longview Public Library. So here's what you're going to get in your free garden kit. You're going to get a glass vase. You're going to get some glass pebbles. You're going to get a bulb. You're not going to get a watering can. The watering can is not included. Folks, this bulb is a mystery bulb. It might be any number of colors of hyacinth. It might be any number of colors of tulip. It might be a crocus. It might be a dwarf iris. The only way to know is to grow it. Now, bulb forcing is basically a trick. We're going to trick this bulb into thinking it's had a winter and a spring. Most bulbs need to have a cold period before they'll bloom. Um, and you can buy bulbs and then keep them in the refrigerator to do that, or you can buy them pre-chilled like these. All we have to do with these is wake them up. So I have it all put together here. When you get your kit, you're gonna wanna fill your vase with the glass pebbles, leave room for your bulb, and set it on top. If uh, you get one of the little bulbs like the crocuses, you might nestle them into the rocks a little bit more. Uh, and then you're going to want to fill the vase with water right up to the bulb, but don't let the bulb sit in water. We don't want it to rot. Once you've done that, you're ready for the growing process. Here are the steps. Here are the growing steps. One, you're going to give it a transition. You're going to put it in a cool spot, 60s, indirect sunlight for a week or two. Then two, you're going to transition it to a warmer, sunnier window. Then it's going to really start growing. Uh, and then once it blooms, Three, you're going to move it out of the direct sunlight, keep it away from any drafts or heating vents, and enjoy the flower. That way it'll last the longest. And while all this is going on, it's going to want to grow toward the light. So you're going to give it a little turn periodically so that it remains straight. So that's basically it. And we'd love to see what blooms for you. So send your photos to AustinB at MyLongView.com. And if you get really into bulb forcing, there's a whole world of possibilities. So we're including links to a number of techniques in the description of this video. Once again, I'd like to thank the friends of the Longview Library who really make things like this possible. Stay tuned for more garden videos and seed library news. Uh, until then, we'll see you in the drive-thru to pick up your free garden kit. And that's it. I'm Austin. Jeremy's here somewhere. We've got to grow, but we'll seed you later in the Longview Library Garden.